Before you run out and drive home a new CRV, I admonish you to give this crossover an in depth look. This week I've got the 2010 Mazda CX-7 in all of its grand touring all-wheel drive splendor. No doubt the CRV is a fine small crossover choice, dutifully serving women and educators everywhere. But the CX-7 is where to turn if you like driving. If the thought of adding yet another CRV to the neighborhood bores you to death, the CX-7 delivers Mazda's signature Zoom Zoom Dynamics in a compelling design with ample levels of utility. Though the CX-7 adds a new base engine this year, a 2.5-liter four-cylinder for those scared off by the turbo, my tester is in fact the 2.3-liter Dizzy Turbo model making an energetic 244 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Performance is lively and shifts from the six-speed auto are crisp. It drives with an added level of power, invigorated handling and steering acuteness typically absent in the class. For 2010, the CX-7 receives a host of enhancements to firm up the unibody structure, reduce NVH levels, improve ride quality, and upgrade the quality of the interior's touch points. The exterior design changes focus on further integration of Mazda's new look and to give the Grand Touring models some distinction. All in all, the newly employed measures hit their mark as the CX-7 graduates from finishing school with honors. The only questionable move is in the size of the Navi screen and its steering wheel only controls. Though it works for me in the Mazda 3, it seems a bit cheesy here in a $33,000 car. There is Bluetooth streaming audio, so kudos for that. The all-wheel drive system is a must where I live, shifting as much as 50% of the available torque to the rear wheels as needed. The knock against choosing the turbo model is in the gas mileage, of course. My tester is rated for 17 MPG City and 23 Highway. It'll run on regular now, but performs best on premium. And if you're into that turbo a lot, your numbers will tend towards the lower end. And that's where the new naturally aspirated engine comes into play, garnering 20 MPG City and 28 Highway, though in front drive only. I've driven that model as well, and it's a competent drive for those who need a bit less car. Loaded to the gills with safety and comfort features, including blind spot monitoring, this tester totals to $33,880. That's about a $3,200 premium over a comparable CRV, but the CX-7 has more content and considerably more appeal to the driving enthusiast. Both are fine choices but you'd be remiss not to give the Mazda some shopping attention. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.